What's up everybody for the Winitachi here you know what it is and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in to the updated guides for Pokemon Go. Now in these guides I released guides in the beginning a uh, couple weeks of Pokemon Go's launch and I've decided to re-update those guides today because a lot of them are a little bit outdated and some of the features in those guides are actually even not even in the game anymore. So Today I'm going to start with the very first guide of the series and it is the user interface guide and what to expect when you first adventure into Pokemon Go. As you guys can see in the background, which is the main background within the game, you're going to see an animated version of Google Maps. If you put your fingers together just like you would zoom in and out on a web page, you can go ahead and zoom out and in on your avatar as well. The little person in the middle is the avatar that you created when you first adventured into the game. On the top right, you're going to see a compass with the white or grayish arrow pointing south and, of course, the red arrow pointing north. On the bottom right, if you go ahead and click on that, it'll give you a sightings page. This is basically the Pokemon that are nearest to you. And as you guys can see for me, all I have nearby is a Cubone. Next up, we will go ahead and check out the bottom left feature. It's my avatar. Uh, it shows my level, which is 25, and experience bar, which is the red little bar right below. And I also have my buddy Pokemon with me, which is currently a Magikarp, and his experience bar is currently going around it, which is the red section around my Magikarp. And, of course, my avatar's name, which is right below that for the Winitachi. Next up, when we click on that, it'll go ahead and bring up a more in-depth version of our avatar section. So we got our name and our buddy Pokemon on the top with our names on top. We've also got the current level, our experience bar more in-depth, and how much experience we've gained right below that. And of course, the start date of when you actually started Pokemon Go. Mine, however, is on the very first day of Pokemon Go. On the left of that, how many Poke coins you have, and on the right of that is the squad that you are currently representing, whether that be Team Valor Red, Team Mystic Blue, or Team Instinct Yellow. So keep, continue scrolling down, you'll notice achievements, or aka medals, within this version of the game. On the top are all the achievements that you can get in general. For example, registering Pokemon to your Pokédex, you can get capturing Pokemon, uh, another one would be evolving Pokemon, and then on the bottom below that line are specific to individual typings of the Pokemon. And the reason why these are unique is because they have to do with a catch bonus, which I will be getting into in a different guide. But this is for normal type Pokemon, we've got flying type Pokemon, we've got poison type Pokemon, etc. throughout the list. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll right back up. And as you guys can see now, there is a little circle with three little lines to it. If you go ahead and click on that, it'll open up a customized page, which I'll go ahead and click on that. You can re-customize your character of your doing, exactly how you did in the beginning of the game. You can also go ahead and switch out your buddy Pokemon, and it will go to a in-depth uh, buddy system page, where it shows the name of the uh, Pokemon, how much total KMs walked, and of course your current experience bar into getting your next candies. Now, at the point in time of me making this video, uh, it was Halloween, so that's why my KMs is a little bit lower. We had a special Halloween event, so if you want to go ahead and check out what that was all about, check it out on our Pokemon Go playlist. Uh, we got the journal as well, which go ahead and shows you everything that you've done previously. So I recently caught a Ghastly, I visited a Pokestop, my Magikarp found a, caddy, uh, a candy. So it shows you everything that you've recently done. So that's the avatar on the bottom left. That's the main interface in this whole screen. That is the compass on the top right. That is the nearby Pokemon on the bottom right. Now in the middle, you've got a Pokeball. If you go ahead and click on this, this is where you're going to do most of your things. Click on settings, and it'll give you settings for music, sound effects, vibration, battery saver. Always be sure to turn that on. Uh, sending Pokemon Go related events to your email address. If you have the Pokemon Go Plus, if you need help, you can change your nickname. You can only do that once. Report high priority issues about Pokemon Go in general, and you can sign out from this page. And, of course, on the bottom right is the current updated version to Pokemon Go. Next up. If you go ahead and click on your Pokédex, it'll go ahead and show you how many Pokémon you've seen, how many Pokémon you've caught, and all the Pokémon that you've seen and caught are uh, actually, you can see their avatars. And if you continue scrolling down, as you can see, number 83, I've never seen, so it's going to be blank for me. But, however, we've got uh, the one after Magikarp, which is a Gyarados. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, 
as it shows you, I've seen it before, um, but I don't have it. So the avatar is currently grayed out for me. So that's how it's going to be. It's either going to be a blank square with a number, and that means you haven't seen it. It's going to be a grayed out avatar, which means you've seen it but don't have it yet. Or it's going to be a full colored avatar, which is going to be meaning that you've caught that Pokemon. Next up, you've also got the shop, which is the in-game shop, which you can purchase Pokecoins in order to purchase select items. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom to show you with purchasing Pokecoins. Uh, you can get po 100, 550, 1200, 2500, 5200, and 14,500 Pokecoins, all different price lists, so go ahead and check that out. Of course, the more you get, uh, the cheaper it is. You can get upgrades to your bag, and the bag upgrade, all that simply does is allow you to carry more items in your uh, Pokemon bag, uh, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, same thing with the Pokemon storage upgrade. I'll show you that in a bit as well, but it allows you to hold more Pokemon in your Pokemon collection. You can buy egg incubators, which hatch eggs. Lure modules, which you can attach to Pokestops, which attract Pokemon. Lucky eggs, which increase experience gain. Incense, which attract Pokemon towards you. And of course, sorry about that. And of course, uh, the Pokeballs themselves, which help you catch Pokemon. Now on the top, it shows you how many Poke, uh, Poke coins you have, and then on the top right, it's a little shield. Right now, that number is zero, but that number does increase uh, depending on if you have control of a gym or a Pokemon within a specific gym. And if you go ahead and click on that, it'll give you some additional Poke coins as well as Stardust. Next up, we got our items bag. Again, like I said, you can increase the amount of items that you can hold, and it shows you all the items that I have, a potions, hyper potions, super potions, mac potions, revives, lucky eggs, pokeball, great ball, ultra ball, lure module, raspberry, camera, egg incubator, and incubators themselves. So it shows you all the items that you currently have within your bags. Next up, you can go ahead and check out your Pokemon themselves. Now, I'm going to do, starting off from the eggs first, the eggs come in different colors. It's green for the 2Ks, orange for the 5Ks, and purple for the 10Ks. I'll go ahead and click on one that's already in an, in an incubator. Uh, it goes ahead and shows you an experience bar, how much you've locked out of how much you need, and basically you can go ahead and spin that egg around in the incubator if you want to go ahead and do so. I'll go ahead and click on one without an incubator. If you go ahead, it shows you that it's 0 to 10. It's not an incubator, so it's not going to get any experience points. Um, I want to. I got to use an incubator to incubate this egg, so I click Start Incubation, and I get to choose an incubator in order to do so. Next up, back to the Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and use this Charmander as an example of what your Pokemon screen will look like. It'll show you the CP of that Pokemon, a grayed out star. If you go ahead and push the star, it'll be yellow, and that means you favorited that Pokemon, and you can no longer release that Pokemon unless you get rid of the star. It shows you the weight, the typing, and the height, and right above that is the HP it's got, and you can also change the uh, uh, Pokemon's name by clicking on the little pen, little icon there. shows you how much total Stardust you have and how much total candy you have for that given Pokemon. It also shows you the location on the very bottom where you've caught that Pokemon, the two moves that it knows, and you can also power up and evolve your Pokemon from this page. You can also go ahead and transfer these Pokemon, which give you candy in return. You can appraise these Pokemon, which uh, your professor from your given team or your team captain or your team leader from your given team appraises the Pokemon for you, tells you how good the Pokemon is, and you can also favorite the Pokemon from there as well. Now going back, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through this. It gives you an example. It shows you all the Pokemon that you currently have in store. Again, you can transfer these Pokemon. You can evolve these Pokemon. You can power up these Pokemon. You name it. Stay tuned for other guides and all that cool stuff on uh, how to do so. But these are all the Pokemon that I currently have. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and check it out, be my guest. And last but not least on the bottom right, as you guys can see, there's a hashtag. You can change the order on the order the Pokemon are listed by recent, favorite, the current Pokédex number, HP, the current name of that Pokemon, or by combat power. So, without further ado, that is the user face, or the UI, for the Pokemon Go app, or the Pokemon Go game, on uh, Android and Apple devices. I just want to say, for those of you tuning in, got any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for tuning in. For the win, Itachi is out.